Welcome back to Campus Bus. And mm -hmm. joining me now, she's back. She's back. Yes, finally. finally. Miss Caribbean. Right. High five. High five. All right. We're on. So she's going to update us on what has been happening in the United Nations pageantry. Mm -hmm. Tell us, you are Miss Car Caribbean in the competition, right? Right. That is true. How has it been so far? What are some of the challenges that you, you know, have been, you know, have been experiencing? Okay. Some of the goodies. A uh, project that you're working on. Let Girl. us know. All right. Good things before bad things. So okay. before we talk about the challenges, let's do it like they talk about some of the good, right. then bad go to the challenges and then go back to some of the good okay. and see how that works. Let's go. No regarding the good, the launch is June twenty seventh. So okay. Jamaica, look out. And if you can get your friends to fly in, look out. Catadupa St. James, June 27, right? All set. Program ready to start. Okay. Everything. We want to have the Minister of Tourism there. Right. So we send out an official invitation, written invitation to the ministry that right. is going to come. Right. And we also have the ministry, not just the ministry, the Tourism Product Development Company, rather, going to be there. Okay. And we also invited Jamaica Tourism Board. They're helping to guide along the launch. Mm -hmm. And we've actually on our way to get our license. Really? as a tourism attraction mm, that's nice. so we're a licensed tourism attraction now so mm -hmm. things things have been going along okay. um challenges before you jump into the, the challenges what are some of the things that you have learned in um in this project i've learned lessons to be patient right i've learned to be patient i've also learned not to be too quick to speak Okay. And that falls into the patients. Well, there are some things I knew before entering because right. I went to the UE Leadership Program. Sure. Y yes, <laughs> go to my alma mater, University of the West Indies. Still a student, so not really alma mater okay. yet. But at the same point in time, I have, yes, and those things are emphasized. Right. The posture, you become, I think a part of it is becoming more conscious, more self-aware. Okay. So self-aware of my whole use of hand, gesticulation, right. <laughs> um, proper pronunciation of words. Um, yeah, taking out the arm when speaking publicly, that's right. one thing that has been emphasized. And the importance also on other values. I think this competition is more than just how to be a lady that is seen out and how to sit, walk and talk, but also with patience, how you get things done, how to organize and achieve your goals. So that's that's one of the cool, the basic things to learn of this pro project is actually how to achieve your goals and to do it in such a way that it benefits society. So I've learned that. I've learned that because awesome. you can't try to do something to benefit everybody okay. and you're stepping on people at the same point in time. And persons can't upset you and you just tell them your mind and just say, listen, this is how I feel and uh, no. So you know, you've, I've learned the patience and I've learned to sit and smile. Not hypocrisy, you know, <laughs> but you've learned like, okay, not everything is dealt with with a sword. Certain things are built, you know, the Bible says soft answer turns away wrath. Reverse words. Words, stir up anger. No, so I'm lear <laughs> yes, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. And I'm still in aspiration, the Proverbs 31 woman, right? Okay. So I'm learning. For persons who don't know Proverbs 30. 31? Yes. They don't know Proverbs 31? Yes. Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. And actually, it was Lemuel. His mom was writing to him. Okay. And she was actually saying what she wanted him to have in her wife. And she was talking about his wife being industrious. Okay. So the Proverbs 31 woman doesn't sit down at home and say, I have a man to do my nails. A man pays mm -hmm. for my hair. Talk to <laughs> the oh. Right? I know that a lot of persons like um, roll for that type of thing. But actually, that doesn't fit in today. Ideal Proverbs 31 woman. She's supposed to be independent. She's supposed to have her husband's back. Okay. And that, that doesn't mean that he's doing foolishness and she's in support. But it actually means she knows how to love herself and love her God while supporting him. So, awesome. and it's, it's all of those things. One of the things about it is that I remember there was this time when I was praying to God about being that woman that he wants me to be. Right. And I got the scripture and it says that, Houses and lands are a gift from my father, but a prudent wife is a gift from God. Okay. And I looked up the word prudent means to plan. Right. So God is saying when a woman actually is not just a woman, it's just okay, I want to have three children. I'm going to work up my birth control. I'm not doing anything by accident. I have my life set, my goals set, and it's not just centered around my lifetime partner. Right. Then God is saying that I alone can do that. Okay. Set it and it's not and her plans are not wasted, right? right. So there are a lot of things that comes into being a Proverbs thirty one woman. 
mm-hmm. falling in also I don't follow the whole date anything I believe in courtship and God choosing and directing your steps in a partner okay so I believe all those things and I really believe that all those things are laid on my heart from God all so, right. yeah. I'm in love with a Definitely, you know, it comes out in the, the pageantry. Yes, and it comes in. And and you know why? One of the things that I appreciate about it is the whole idea of self expression and being you. Okay. I appreciate about the UN pageant and I hope they don't change it. Don't right. ever, right? All right. <laughs> Who is your big um biggest comp- comp- competition or competitor mm. in the United Nations pageant? I don't have any. You don't have any? Comp- no, I don't because uh, my aim is not the title. But okay. to be a better me. I could tell you someone else that could be for the title. Right. But then it would be like failure because at the end of the day for me, my greatest impact is not if they recognize my charity as something. But to know that the person that the charity was set out to benefit right. will actually have a lasting impact for generations. Okay. So, yes. A few challenges before we wrap up. Um, Finances. Okay. Raising the funds, getting things done. Finances. That's the that's the biggest challenge. Okay. Finances. So who would you talk to to get that finance? Uh, I'm support still or I'm still support? still trying getting the relevant sponsorship, right? Okay. So yes, finances. Finances has to work both for the charity, finances for myself within the pageant. So yes, okay. it's on two ways. Meanwhile, let me big up my sponsor so far, M and B Body Fitness, uh, Man and Body Fitness Gym. Yes, thank okay. you. They've been keeping me stressed down. <laughs> I like that. So yes, yes, I have to remember them, right? Awesome. So persons who want to vote for you, tell them where to go. Oh um, yes. To like your Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook page, Miss Caribbean United. Oh, is that going United so far, Cl- the votes? Oh, uh, I finally reached 1K. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Don't forget persons, you have a credit card, roll it all out. Don't feel limited, it's for a worthy cause. And you can purchase 10 US, 10 US dollars, can purchase me 100 votes, 20, 200, 50, 500 and 100 US dollars will get me 1,000 votes. Okay. And you can also press Facebook like, but it is www.munp.org slash ms slash 2015 dash Miss Caribbean. Okay. So, and if you have a hard time, just go www.munp.org and just search for Miss Caribbean. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so, so you're appealing to all of the rich people in Jamaica. Not necessarily rich, but you have a dollar you can spare. I'll take. You know, rich people, <laughs> okay. Rich persons can come along, but I'm not going to say, I mean, it's everybody's business, right? Okay. It's all about sustainable development. The project itself is about sustainable development. It's everybody's business, so, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Brown mm-hmm. here on Campus Bus again, giving us the update what is going on in the United Nations pageant. Miss Caribbean, Marsha Brown, thank you so much for stopping. Well, thank you so much, Darren. I appreciate it. All yeah. right, there you have it. And uh, we want to big up our sponsor, Go Places Clothing and JNway. <laughs>